Deitch is on the beat. Come on. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a 4C hair routine because as you can see, I'm a black girl and I have 4C hair. Well, I don't know if it's 4C. I don't even know why I said 4C. Type 4 hair. I don't know if I have like 4 A, B, C. I don't know if it's C because I feel like C can go a little bit thicker than this, but whatever. So I'm starting by washing one side of my hair. I wash my hair in two parts most of the time. Sometimes I do it all as one, only if I'm really tired. And that water was hot, sizzling. So that's why I did that. But yeah, I wash my hair in two parts and I'm washing it in the sink because I have a really dry scalp and it's just really hard to clean it good in the shower. So I'm washing it in the sink. I'm using the Suave. I don't know what it's called. It's just a suave shampoo and it's the gold one because you know when they make the gold packaging, it's for the black people. If you didn't know, now you know. So it's not bad. I know a lot of people say that the suave shampoos and conditioners really dry out your hair, but this one doesn't dry mine out and I have a really dry scalp. So that says a lot. And I do like this one. It was cheap. I got a set shampoo and conditioner for like $5 and some change. So I do recommend it, especially if you're about to go to college like me. <clears throat> anyways so yeah i'm just running my fingers through it and i don't know if i showed it that much but i do be like scraping my scalp okay not scraping it because like you know it's bad to scrape your scalp <laughs> but i do scratch my scalp a lot scrape off all the dead skin because as i said i have a dry scalp i can't help it i was born to it what can i say i'm sorry that sometimes my angles a little jacked like i was really washing my hair so i couldn't really <laughs> Like, bruh, you shouldn't see the back of my neck right now, but I was really watching my hair, so I couldn't really show the best angle, simply because I don't have a tripod, and my phone is just sitting on the, sitting on something, so yeah. But yeah, and yes, I'm wringing out my hair like it's a rag, because I can. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you're washing your hair, bruh. You really want to scrub it up, dub, like you, I know when I was younger, and I used to hate staying in the shower for like 30 minutes to wash my hair. Because I was young and I was like, I want to go play, you know? But just make sure you scratch your hair and really clean it out and feel in your scalp. Because I used to not feel in my scalp really. And there would still be a little bit of mess in there. Just a little bit though. But now I've gotten older and I've fixed it. So I'm just taking the same shampoo. And it bubbles up really good. You know some shampoos don't bubble up. Isn't that so crazy? Like how do you use shampoo when you don't bubble up? Like what's the point <laughs> but yeah i'm just washing my hair Ooh, i feel like i just talked for a whole brick to be honest Okay, so hi, I'm back. I washed both sides of my hair. Now I'm gonna be taking my conditioner and it's the same joint from the swab, like I already said. And I just put it in my hair regular. Sorry you're just seeing my fat stomach. Like, I don't know what's, I don't know why. Anyway, but yeah, I just rub it all through my hair. And to be honest, I didn't even leave it in that long. I left it in long enough, like you can feel the difference, but I could have left it in longer. Just make sure when you condition your hair, you want to leave it in for a little minute like you want to leave it in for at least like eight minutes because i mean you just want it to make a difference and you don't necessarily have to deep condition every time because i know i sure don't because that's a lot of work and i have a job and i don't feel like doing that all the time so yeah but you do want to make sure that you're taking care of your hair as best you can if you know what i'm saying bro i'm so sorry like my shirt looks so small i swear it's just rolled up like I swear it is. But yeah, I just left my hair with the conditioner in it and a ponytail because I feel like it saturated a little bit more. I don't know. Now I was just showing y'all the back of my head because I thought it was cute. I don't know. And as you can see, like, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell, like, the conditioner really, like, set into my hair. And it was worth a little bit of time it was in there. 
So I was just showing you guys close up. I don't really know what this clip is. <laughs> and then I rinsed it out and put on this towel. I didn't leave this in for it alone because I knew it was about to blow dry my hair. And yeah, it just fell out. Anyway, so I split my hair half again. To be honest, I usually blow dry it in four parts, but I just didn't feel like it today. Simply because I knew I didn't need that good of a blow dry because I'm about to put it in braids and under a wig and then I'm only having that wig on for a couple days and then I'm putting braids in. So I wasn't trying to do too much with the blow drying, but it was a little bit easier to manage because you know, we got that thick hair. So it was a little easier to manage and it did happen to make my wig look a little bit flatter when my hair is blow dried. That's just how I do it. I don't know how everyone does it. It's probably different for every person, but yeah, I'm just taking my little brush combing through my um curls you know i used to say naps but i love my forehair so it's fine i'm gonna say curls so i just brushed through it. i don't know why i just said comb like ew who am i <laughs> and i'm just showing you guys like it's kind of a long process like when you have thicker hair but or curly hair in general you can brush through that joint comb through it and you have to keep doing it because it'll get right back tangled literally one second later so <laughs> To prevent that, I put in some hair cream. This is just from Cream of Nature. I've always kind of used just Cream of Nature products because that's what my mom uses on my hair when I was little. So I just put a little bit of that in and I also use a Cream of Nature heat protector. It's more of a blow drying, like a blowout serum kind of. So I use that for when I blow dry my hair because this blow dryer be getting hot, bro. Like, it's old, so it gets really hot. <laughs> so, yeah. I just put that cream and nature in there. And as you can see, it's making my hair look a little more, more moisturized and, you know, just hydrated because you don't want to keep your hair dry, especially putting it under a wig. Bro, you want to make sure it's moisturized because it's going to be sitting in those braids. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just wipe my hair, my hands. I just wiped my hands on that towel. And this is that heat protector cream I was talking about and I'm just going to be putting it in my hair coming up I'm going to show you guys when I'm blow drying my hair I'm going to show you one side because it's the same thing I don't feel like it's necessary to watch both sides so yeah it's a time lapse of me blow drying my hair I know it looks like I'm being really rough but I swear I wasn't I swear I wasn't So sorry I had to open the door, it got really hot and steamy in there. So here's the final look of my hair after I fully washed it, conditioned it, moisturized it, and blow dried it. I ended up greasing my scalp later, but I just didn't show that and had to do another length check. You always gotta do a length check, girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you again next time.